Hello there guys, welcome along back to Tax TV. Thank you for joining as ever. Today is Friday. Happy Friday to you all. Hope you're all looking forward to the weekend uh, as it's FA Cup weekend once again. The Reds taking on Norwich City tomorrow at Oatwell in the fourth uh, round, hoping to progress into the fifth round where they'll be facing either Chelsea or Luton Town. Uh, we discussed that yesterday in the match preview. Go check that out if you haven't already. However, today we're talking purely about transfers and of course the rumours that are escalating around everything really that uh, we see and uh, are near. Uh, firstly though, before we do, obviously drop a like and subscribe and of course hit the notification bell so you're not missing out on the latest videos on this uh, this channel. Um, so first off, uh, Mike Bearer's contract with Barnsley Football Club has been terminated. Um, yeah, Bearer not featured this season. Uh, a player under Stendhal in League One who played a good majority of games there. We signed him permanent at the beginning of last season. Made club captain as well by former manager Daniel uh, Stendhal. And didn't really get too much of a look in um, when Stendhal left. He played a couple of times under Struber. I think he might have scored actually against Hull. Might have been Hull. Um, and, and yeah, he's not had the, a good run of games. Um... And I think there's a listen. There's I've always thought Bearer was a very, again another one of those frustrating players, that when he's good and on it, he's brilliant. When he's not, you know, he could be really, really awful to watch. Um, and I don't think consistently he was good enough. I think in League One he did get away with it a lot, but when we get into the when we come into the Championship, you know, you've got to be consistent. You've got to do things week in, week out. You can't have one good game every five games. And Bearer, as much as you know he was good, they called him Magic Mike. I just don't think he could cut it, really. Uh, which you, some I were kind of calling for him a couple... I think before Struber went, actually, when we were absolutely just no creativity whatsoever. I think sometimes he does offer you that little bit of, little bit of magic, if you know what I mean. But like we said, consistency is the problem. Uh, but I do wish him well. I wish him very well. Uh, thanks for being at the club, you know. Uh, thanks for giving you all. Because I think he did. He was one of those players that did give his all when he had a red shirt on. Um, sadly, it just do not work with some players. And Bearer, unfortunately, is one of those. So, Mike, all, all the best to you, mate. And I hope that you get back playing ASAP. Um, of course, coming, coming in, Barnsley are looking to bring in a, another striker, which... Uh, Steve's call for, actually. Steve were calling for another strike or maybe two. Uh, Kyle Joseph from Wigan does seem to be the one on uh, everyone in Barnsley's uh, lips at the moment. You know, he seems to be the one that is looking like a, ta a clear clear target. Uh, from what I've read as well, the Reds have had a, a bid of £500,000 turned down. Not sure how true this is for this lad. He's a very young lad, though. Listen, I know we go for uh, a lot of young up and coming players this lad is very up and coming you know he's only he only made his debut for Wigan in October and he has actually hit the ground running not not gonna lie he has five goals I think it is in 12 appearances for uh, for Wigan so I can understand why we are looking at him it is a big it, it's such a big step up though you know there's not just us looking at him Celtic and and I think Rangers as well are one of them who do rate this lad um it is a big step up uh whether it's right or not I don't know because as we said you know when you're coming into this league having only made his debut <laughs> last year it's very young um to be coming into this league, which is, as we've said a lot of times, almost like a second Premier League. Um, but clearly there's talent there, you know, knocking them in in League One. It's nice to see that. So hopefully, you know, if he did come, he would be able to do it here. Again, you know, we, we're a club who absolutely not just thrive on youth, but we use youth a lot. Youth does get a chance. Um, and and it's not saying a lot for the, the players that are here, your Patrick Schmitz, um, you know, your George Millers. And, you know, I think sometimes you have, again, with those, it simply haven't worked out. They're just not quite good enough. Uh, and it's clear to see we do need other options. We do need to get rid of a lot of dead wood to bring in some new players who can maybe kick us on. And clearly that's the club's indication and that's what they want to do with the likes of Kyle Joseph coming in to maybe kick us on, fresh start, fresh faces. 
as well as obviously tying down current faces who are out of contract, i.e. Mowat. Hopefully, you know, that does get sorted. But, I'm, I, listen, I'll, I will be behind this, this move. Obviously, it's a big move for him. Obviously, it's a great goal tally as well for such a young lad and I don't think it will be cheap by any stretch of the imagination you know obviously Wigan you know from what happened to them last season they will need some money to come in uh, to their football club so let's see what we can do in terms of getting another transfer over the line I do I personally do think we do need another striker uh, as well on top of Carlton Morris on top of Woodrow um, and I think Getting this lad in, yeah. Why? Let's let's just see where it goes. Let's see where it goes. Obviously, I think he is very young, but let's see. We've signed players before who are, who are young and upcoming and everything. This lad's got good record already in League One, so maybe, maybe he can he can step up, or maybe he will be that player to come on maybe for the rest of the season, come off the bench for the rest of the season, maybe to offer something that little bit different. Um, uh, you know, he's young striker, impressed so far. Uh, he's got to get in a huge amount of game time, probably more than he actually thought. Uh, there's also Tottenham link with him, according to this report here. Uh, there's uh, this from Wigan, of course. Is uh, I've said it before, though, but there's no point in uh, it whatsoever worrying about things that are beyond our control. The reason these lads are getting mentioned is because they are doing something well on the field. I've had my own chats with them privately, and this they will stay private. But things will will uh, things like this will come around again and together, uh, and throughout career. So, yeah, it's uh, and they obviously said they're in no rush to make any rash decisions. So I think this will go on, and 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 we will see. But definitely, players. I think we, there are a few more faces needed, just to keep the the ship afloat. And I'm not saying if we don't sign, we will go down on it. I don't, no, I don't think we will. I think we are fairly okay where we are in a good position, a very good position, a position we could have only dreamed of being in. But what I'm saying is you've got to keep building, you've got to keep adding to it, keeping the stability, keeping the momentum going. Um, and that's why January transfer windows are very important as a Barnsley fan, if you ask me. Not just keeping players here, but also bringing fresh faces in to keep the ship going, to keep it... Just to keep the machine going, if you know, if you get where I'm coming from. So, uh, yeah, let's see what happens in the next few days, obviously. I don't think there'll be anything confirmed today or anything like that, but certainly, as we approach the end of the window, it is going to become more and more rumours, etc., players, blah, 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 all that... So let's just see what happens, guys. Let's see what happens in, in the next coming days and the next few weeks. Uh, obviously, big game tomorrow in the Cup. We'll see what we do. Like we said, go check out the preview for that. And that's all we can add, really, today, guys, other than happy Friday to you all. Enjoy your Friday. You know, Fridays are a very good day, aren't they? Unless, of course, you work weekends or whatever. But um, I'm sure I'm sure uh, we can all, you know, think about those who are doing the best for us uh, when they are working. Uh, so thank you ever so much for watching this, guys. All the best to you, and we will see you tomorrow, hopefully, in the watch-along. And I say hopefully because I'm not 100% sure yet how... We're going to do it because from what I've heard is only on BT, but I could be wrong and I might be able to get a stream somewhere else and I ain't got BT Sports. So thank you for watching, guys. All the best to you. See you all very soon. You Reds.